that are being stolen from the world in Zimbabwe and sent to Chinese zoos and uh, all over the world. A bit, okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, okay. Uh, so, um, Zimbabwe's elephants are a tragic consequence of a one-off ivory stockpile sale. It was decided in 1997 to move the elephants to Society's Appendix 2, and there they have remained, enabling trade in, live ivory, in ivory and live elephants and impacts on decisions related to trophy hunting. Then in 1983, Zimbabwe made conservation history by being the first country in Africa to sell live elephants and 62 infants were captured and sent to the USA in a project called Jumbole and sold into various zoos and circuses where those still alive live. Uh, Nozi, the elephant recently rescued to a sanctuary, was one of the original batch. Uh, over the years, British Zoo Register will show tragic records of imports of wild caught infants being added to zoo stock all over the world. Uh, the society's database is littered with elephants from Zimbabwe. The more recent exports to Chinese zoos that have attracted the most attention. Since 2012, they have exported over 100 infants into tragic lives in captivity with no accountability, using false society's permits with no recourse. Zimbabwe world wildlife trade is a multi-billion dollar industry that is being coveted by elite and corrupt and is run by the government in partnership with Chinese criminal syndicates, encompassing uh, poaching, live trade, bond trade, and skin auctions. Tons of illegal ivory is living every day from Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe is being used as a harbor where poached elephants hide from across Africa are being auctioned off with no control or checks. Society's representatives are issuing permits based on false information. The hunting industry is poorly policed and riddled with corruption. Allocation on hunting quota in Zimbabwe is not based on scientific detrimental findings reports, but on who can play the system records that are inaccurate and not transparent. With insufficient oversight on the industry resulting in thousands of animals hunted across species every year. As the economy is crashing in Zimbabwe right now, it's only going to get worse. People are in dire straits and will do almost anything for 30 pieces of silver. Caught up in this mess are rural communities who, according to the Constitution Wildlife Act, are the owners of the wildlife with loose promises that hunting can benefit them, yet there is no evidence that this is happening. The funds are not reaching them because they are intercepted by corrupt officials and unlawful hunting companies and the positive outcomes don't materialize at all. Uh, and one of the most important issues is whether the legal licenses and hunting quotas are handed out wisely or sustainably. Accountability and transparency of the selection process on allocation um, of these quotas is another problem and challenging the authorities to be accountable becomes a play of political policing. Licenses, uh, licenses are systema systematically faked, issued, and peddled as bribes in excess of quotas or never checked. Any presumed co conservation benefits are zero. Facts are rural communities are trapped between mismanaged wildlife by inept authorities with no support losing livestock and crops to wildlife where they are taking the law into their own hands resulting in revenge killings and if they are caught they are arrested and charged they are arrested and charged yet in the next instance hunting companies are bringing rich foreign tourists to hunt on their land for which they feel no real benefits with no official figures in the absence of any kind of census on wildlife populations in zimbabwe Hunting licenses and quotas are being used as bargaining chips in the numbers game. No records documenting the official numbers killed in the narrative problem animal control, which is also known as PAC, or on the numbers dying in the revenge killing by communities. The numbers are declining rapidly, and there is no sign that this will be addressed anytime soon. Thank you. Thank you.